Hey, what's going on? Today, I have a different look. Hold on. Hey, he's coming soon. I've got my secret service look. I've got my white button down on. Oop, I just hit the mic, but I don't know what that sounded like. And um, this is my, my little walkie talkie. Hey, here he's coming. Not really. Um, Nikki, if you could turn around. We're actually, before he turns around, we're having a guest for dinner um, two doors down. We're at 19 and it'll be at 13, I believe is the address. It's two townhouses over. Go ahead and pan outside. We have, we have 200 Secret Service and probably three or 400 NYPD up and down Madison Avenue because the president's coming for dinner next door. And it's just been kind of a kick to watch all day. And um, the logistics is nuts. It's crazy, all that goes on. And this goes on every day, wherever he goes. He goes just to pick up a cold drink. This is what he's got. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. And by the wait, if you start to hear motorcycles and all that, we can't do anything about it because they're going to be literally 50 feet in front of us. But hopefully we'll be done before they get here. So thank you so much for um, flicking or scrolling down or pushing the button or um, telling someone else to push the button for you. Whatever it is, thank you so much for coming in. Hope you're doing well. Um, the other day we were talking about basted clothing and uh, basted suits. And I went and did a couple fittings for a particular guy and we're done. So I've taken that and we're now adjusting the pattern based on that. And I'm starting to coordinate clothing that we're actually gonna be cutting and making for him. And we're starting right now, this is gonna be, this is a Super 170s in a buckwheat muted Glen plaid. And I've got three different shirts here we're gonna be doing with it. And even though we're gonna actually take the silk and oh, I just realized I've got my Secret Service glasses still on, so I actually want to see. So um, the neck will be made for him, but I want to pull ties just to start getting the inspiration. So we're going to be doing something like this in a gum twill, and uh, this will look great. Anyway, this is sort of how it begins, and then we've got a couple sport coats here, and then I've got a couple more suits, but we just start to put it together and number it. I want to talk about one other thing, and this will actually become not long-winded today, but long, lots of top, lots of time can be devoted to this. So there's this whole new, uh, the uh, dress casual, corporate casual, uh, certain people thinking, oh, we don't have to wear suits anymore. And I was out yesterday, spent a couple hours in Midtown, and um, at least two or three times I had the idea, give me, get, get that camera on, I want to talk about this. Here's what I'm going to say. As a general rule, guys got to figure it out. There are more guys that look like they're either going to a ball game or going out to work in the yard or some version of that than they're going to work. The advantage to the years that we've got in a guy wearing a suit or a sport coat is that that suit or that sport coat sort of acts like an anchor. And you have that as your anchor of what you're going to do, and then you sort of can do certain things. Hard to make a lot of mistakes. Uh, actually, not difficult, but you get what I'm talking about. When it's almost like if you send someone an invitation, a guy an invitation, um, you're invited to a barbecue on a veranda of a home at the beach on a Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock. What do you wear? And that's sort of what it looks like out there. Suits and sport coats enable a guy to have a little bit more sense of what to do. And when they're going to the office, they, the discussion needs to be what's appropriate attire to wear in the office versus just totally winging it. Um, I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear direct, specific questions. But we're going to talk about this over the next couple weeks. And I think it'll be pretty interesting. I definitely have an opinion about it. And... That's what I have to say about that. So uh, President Trump is having dinner right there. I'll post a couple pictures I took. We can't actually take the video camera and stick it outside now because the windows have to be closed. But uh, it's pretty cool that the president is having dinner right here and I'm watching the whole thing play out in front of us. So I feel pretty darn safe and comfortable and I think the motorcade is coming in a second, but I've thought that a couple times already. All is good in DLNY land, and until 
until we catch up again next time, cheese.